Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Martz. All right, guys, one more video of this beautiful juvenile alligator. Uh, besides him, I saw one over on the far right. There's an itty bitty one kind of close to him and one in the background. So I see four total. And I'm just trying to look at his legs, make sure he's okay. Um, I'm surprised he's out of the water right here. It's, just, it's still going to be like 86 degrees today and it's probably already 80 and this pond we desperately need water on Hilton Head look how terrible this pond is um let me see if I could see the other little alligator because he's really small oh I see him back there he's swimming okay let me see Woo. it's tough to see this is um the pond just really needs uh you know, like a little fountain in here. Uh, but we're, you can see in the background, the, the dark line, that's how high the water should be. So we're about a foot or two short of how much water we should have in this pond. And I'll walk over here and just show you really fast. So I don't know if the, ta if the town owns the pond or not. Um, then you got your restaurant back here, steamers. I haven't been in there yet. They used to be over at Caligny. I don't know if it's the same owners. But you can see how much vegetation is taken over really fast, just in the last two to three weeks. And there's one more alligator over here. And of course, shame on people. Oh, here's another one. So we do have five. Okay, here's one. Let's see. He's over here. Let's see. There he is. Moving. Wow. But, you know, they have hardly any water to function. And then here's one more. So I hope it rains soon so they can have cleaner water. All right, guys, we're signing off live with alligators desperate for a cleaner pond. Have a great day.